Hello! Within this video, I'll show you how to mask data using the Talend Data Fabric, giving you the ability to selectively share production quality data across your organization for development, analysis, and more, without exposing private data to people who aren't authorized to see it. Within Studio, I'll operationalize data masking of private customer data to be published for further use to the Talent Cloud and data preparation. Alternatively, I'll show you how business users can autonomously mask data directly within Talent Data Preparation. But first, I'll start within Studio. I currently have some live account contacts stored within Salesforce. My business analyst team who need this live data for analytics are not authorized to access all personal customer information. So I've built a flow to ensure I won't be exposing my teammates or other business units who could access that data set to this restricted information. For the sake of this video, I've created a near identical copy of this job that, instead of publishing to Data Prep and Snowflake, allows us to preview the consequences of my data masking components upon my data once I've clicked Run. But in reality, I would use the first job to publish out to a cloud database. The first step takes a random sample of my data set. I will then pass the data through a shuffling component, randomly shuffling data from a data set within a column or set of columns. This data masking technique is generally a good fit for analytics use cases, guaranteeing that any metric or KPI computed on the whole data set would still be perfectly valid. I've configured this component to shuffle the following information, randomly reorganizing them by column type so that it no longer correlates to its original record. I've grouped my city, state, and postal code columns so these columns stay linked, ensuring the integrity of the addresses is preserved. Let me show you in the output what this looks like. As you can see in my original data, Lola Askins is associated with the account name Happy Hippo Inc. Once shuffling has been completed, Happy Hippo is no longer associated with anyone with the first name Lola or last name Askins, and my group columns containing city, state, and zip have been successfully shuffled as well. For instance, Happy Hippo's Peoria address is now associated with Jeans Unlimited. Let's move on to the next masking component in the flow, the data masking component. This component allows me to block visibility of specific fields or pieces of data. I've chosen to mask the first part of my email address with an X, as seen in our masked output. Finally, we'll pass our data through a pattern masking component. It masks data based on a user-defined pattern. This component is ideal for masking structured or standardized data, such as credit cards, social security numbers, or like in our case, account IDs. Each account ID is formatted to fit a pattern. It begins with a series of four numbers, two zeros, a number one through five, and another zero. So I will choose to mask this segment of the account ID with with a consistent set of substitution values to maintain its integrity. The next character following the account ID's first four digits is a single capital letter, either a B, D, F, P, or H. Again, using a constant set of substitution values, I can mask the true character value while maintaining the integrity of the account ID as a whole. The next set of characters consists of a five-digit number. Using an interval masking type, I can replace these numbers with a random number between 1 and 99,999 while maintaining the five-digit pattern. Following that, all IDs contain the characters QTS, so I will keep this value as is. Next is one number between 1 and 9, and then either a lowercase or uppercase letter. And finally, a three-character capital letter combination starting with Q, which I will use a consistent substitution string to mask. Now, according to my configurations, this component will search my account ID column for strings of characters matching these patterns and shuffle accordingly. You can see our values have been shuffled and the data successfully masked, all while preserving the account ID pattern. Switching back to my original job that has been properly configured in this way to mask the restricted data, I can run the job and make the data accessible to my organization. 
My Business Analyst's team can now access my real production quality data within Snowflake. My data stewards can actively cleanse, standardize, and prep the data in data preparation, all without compromising my customer's identity. Now I'll show you how to mask private customer data directly from within talent data preparation, giving you more control over how your data is masked. I'm freely able to mask any type of data set containing any type of data. In this case, I can choose to mask my email data by selecting the data masking function. I can select from a comprehensive list of masking styles. In order to properly mask my customer emails, I'll choose to mask by semantic type, which retains the email formatting but successfully camouflages the identifiable information. Selecting random instructs data prep to randomly assign each field a different masked value instead of repeating the same one for each field. And that looks great. Continuing on through my data, I can also mask customer phone numbers by replacing all digits with randomly generated numbers while preserving the last four digits. And that looks good too. Perhaps my customer's first names are irrelevant to our cause and I don't need them shared with the rest of my team. I can generate a unique character pattern for each name field within that column. Once I've made sure to enter all A's within the character pattern, I'll click Submit. And just like that, in just a few clicks, I've been able to explicitly mask each column of data in the most efficient way to meet my masking needs. And that is how to use the Talent Data Fabric to selectively share production quality data across your organization. Thanks for watching and please continue watching to see how Talent can work for you.